Somehow I've managed to pick up four envoys, which is great. Let's just pick up Geneva. Um, that will give my universities more. Uh, Mexico City. Again, that's my production facilities a little bit higher as well. And Venice to give myself bank shipyards and consulate buildings a little bit more. So Coblonk, just a heap of yields there. 401 science per turn I'm on now. That'll do. In the meantime, the rest of my units are now beginning to ransack Georgia. Mahabody Temple being built here. Dear, oh dear. We can't have that. Georgia's unique unit is not as strong as they would like you to believe. That's a one hit from the line inventory, but that's fine. We'll go one, two, three, just to start pushing up these walls. I have no siege equipment because I can't build it anymore because it's too obsolete, but still. Oh, look how many religions are almost in my capital. Sikhism and Judaism have kind of found their way in now, but okay, that's three religions with one follower in that city. Nice. Oh, Sikhism actually is in Mumbai as well. Oh, beautiful stuff. Judaism is being spread pretty much without me needing to because Australia are doing it for me, so that's great. 25 gold per turn for Gilded Vaults. 25... Oh my goodness, yes. That. Yes. Yes to that. I always think there's something entirely satisfying about taking a capital last. We've taken all of Norway's cities apart from the capital and we finish on the capital. Oh... I'm sorry, Norway. But anyway, this gives me a huge amount more loyalty in Northern Europe. Rushing Mahabodhi Temple. One turn into the next one. Okay, we need to find another city that can build a cheap wonder. Statue of Zeus and Terracotta Army. Now that's two choices. I think that would be cool. Um, do I do that? I think so. I think so. Mahabodhi Temple. Okay, There's that's two diplomatic place. victory points and two apostles. Think of Have I actually improved my Buddhist. religion? You know what? I think I've got about 3,000 faith and I haven't improved my religion. I am so bad at doing that. I just always forget. I need a mod. Can someone get a mod that just reminds me to improve my religion? That would be that would be amazing. Evangelize and evangelize. Okay. This, I mean, this is embarrassing. This really is. I've had tons of stuff that I could be doing. Like Teeve. I, you know? Ugh, oh, terrible stuff. I'm going to go cross-cultural dialogue to give myself a bit more science. And I'm going to go for... Doopa 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 doo. Iterant preachers. Hey, defender of the faith. Let's go defender of the faith. Why not? And that is 30 science from beliefs. That's not bad. Auckland in order to give all of my coastal tiles a bit more stuff. That actually should be... Oh yeah, Mumbai is really appreciating that one. Let's put Calcutta on this continent, just in case I need to spawn anything next to the Cree. I think that could be a good use of my time. Get ancient walls in, and a granary, and a monument. Lovely stuff. I can get settlers actually from there soon. First of these cities taken as well. Okay, cool. Awesome. No, I'm not liberating to Scythia. Don't be silly. Ugh. The jokes. The jokes. Uh, one, two, three attacks in. Line inventory is doing well, just battering the walls down very effective indeed one two three and then is that gonna be a four yeah almost move the siege tower back to over here and then i can go one two three like that bang another one's gone Tori to Belem. without being Ooh. seriously so assailed. forgotten about this one i think that's just going to build a bunch of walls for me in all the cities that aren't on asia which is basically all my European cities, but you never know. There may be extra granaries and things built in. You know, we've we've seen crazier things. Forms an armada out of a military naval unit. Oh, that'd be fun. I could make an ironclad fleet and just go after all of Australia's cities. Mmm, that could be fun. Two percent culture for every great person I've ever earned. That should be thirty percent when that all comes through. Uh, yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Another city-state friend. Lovely. And there's Big Ben. I was hoping I'd get Big Ben. The extra policy slot will really help me, actually. Most confusing one, though. Bam. Terracotta Army is almost boosted. Terracotta Army means that I get a promotion in every single one of my units, which takes forever to do. Caspi is also mine. Georgia doesn't have too many cities left here. Not at all. Three envoys at Cardiff. Sounds... Lovely, it's my city state now, and I should be getting a bunch of electricity from all of my harbour buildings, which is great. Mr. Bombard comes along and bonk. Oh yeah, that's a decent amount of damage. Um Man at Arms Cores are continuing to attack this city very nicely. Line inventory. I mean these guys were doing brilliantly. 
but they've all now delightfully promoted themselves, which is good. Onwards to the next target. Ah, very satisfying this actually. I'm just spreading Earth's Orionism to all of these new cities, which is taking more time than I thought it would. This is a painstaking process, but making sure all of my cities have one follower of each of the religions is an important job. Getting there so far. I mean, if you look at Patna, you can see just how much it's giving. Hang on. Um, blah, 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 three from religion. Oh, it's just such a nice immunity boost. People really underrate India, but they are just the best. Taj Mahal has been finished, which of course gives me all of the era of score. But I could ever want. I could take the era score and I could make a sandwich out of it. I could play a round of golf with it. I could finish the corner of the wall that blatantly should be finished. With Upon it. The head of the God and the statue of Zeus. Oh my goodness, look at the In look at the terracotta right army being constructed. Next to the statue of Zeus. This is just one powerful encampment. I love it. I absolutely love it. But anyway, this helps me actually to produce what is it? Um uh, anti tank crews or anti cavalry units, isn't it? Replaceable parts is done. Oh yeah, of course you get all the units as well. Oh, they're all so useless, but I love it. Pike and shots, actually, you know what? Pike and shots aren't useless. These are actually going to be relatively useful. War of territorial expansion, this time with Spain. Of course, I, I just lost my movement bonus, so it's important that I did that one pretty quickly. Rastafi, was that my city? Was that my city? No, I was attacking. Was I attacking my city? I don't remember. Also, inventory is just a pick because I've literally just unlocked it and now the three cities have inventory. That is, I would say that's unfair. But, you know, that, ugh. Conservation. Very good to see this appear. The colonial taxes. Ah. Oh, it's also, I mean, triangular trade has given me something, but it doesn't feel like a very good policy. But, I mean, there's not many better policies at the moment, really. Um... I'm just waiting for ideology. That's going to be the big thing that to push me through into the exciting stuff. What just appeared? Oh, Ma just appeared. Oh, and Preslav, I think, has just appeared somewhere as well. I don't know where Preslav did appear, though. Oh, down here on Madagascar. Okay. Uh, plus two loyalty per turn in cities with encampments. I mean, I'm not... Unfortunately, I haven't got too many of those. Where's the Vatican as well? Oh, up here. Vatican's quite exciting. That helps to spread my religion, but I actually don't want that particularly. Cahokia is the mounds. Mitla, city growth rate is higher. I mean, that will give me the extra university science. That'd be quite cool. Anishan. Oh, actually, I do have some great works. So what does it work out to be? Two science from great works of writing, one from relics and artifacts. Oh, yeah, fine. Okay, Anshan, in you come. And Kaplunk, 537. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did find the kill one, by the way. It was over here. I can't remember if I mentioned that one. I feel like with this particular map, the kill one would be quite fun. Sorry, Cree. Colonial war with you now. We're going to go and just use our, our sort of... Let's say we've got a couple of, of sort of units that we've moved across the sea in order to try and sort of get around to their capital. This is going to go horribly wrong. Uh, clearly, I clearly don't have enough units to, to do this attack, but... We're going to give it a good go nonetheless. Got some real loyalty issues within the Georgian cities I'm taking over, but with Tbilisi, which is a 14 pop city, falling to me. I'm really hoping this will help to keep them all. Um, oh, so that's still minus 8.5, so that city's definitely falling, which is really annoying. What about um, this city? That would be another one that would be really handy to take if I can get a hold of it. Um, the Curacao's there, the Man at Arms is there. What's this city defended by? Oh, it's not its not that tough. So I can run in and see if I can start scampering it down as well. Yeah, as you can see, huge army. Absolutely massive, awesome army. Just kind of flailing everywhere at the moment. Do I give Persia a second chance here? Mm, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's worth it. I mean, again, they, they keep wanting to rebel, which is really, really annoying. But I'm pretty sure we can encourage them into existing peacefully with everybody. I am going to denounce them again. Oh no, I can't denounce them again. Typically. Because I've technically made peace with them. Oh, this is just really annoying. But I want to save them, as I say, for the surprise territorial war that I can sort of throw on people when I need to. Pantanal. I can't believe I hadn't found that one already, but I got the footprint of an apostle. So many relics. Isn't it lovely? Selling everything. Plundering the planet for its resources. Ah, here we go. Reveals oil. 
Now it's going to be something very, very interesting for me. Do I have any oil coming in? Uh, already I've got two coming in, which is which is absolutely lovely. So there is some offshore. Uh, offshore. That is... Oh, that's under a wonder that's being built. Fantastic. That'll give me some oil. Offshore. Uh, that could be plundered, I believe. Oh, no, it can't be. And that one as well, because I don't have actually the tech to do that yet. Uh, I must be close to the tech. Yeah, there's refining, actually. So that would be pretty easy to do. But I want to get sanitation and chemistry first, because I think research labs are pretty spicy. Now, this is a this is a brave gambit, really, but I'm just going to see if I can force kill this Cree capital just with my units. It's going to be really close. I don't think I've got enough here to kind of push it all the way through, really, but we'll, we'll give it a good go. Come on, Georgia. Can't you see that we've had enough of you? Just roll over, please. Please, 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 please. Please. If I say please enough, they may just do it. Come on, is that going to be enough? Oh, it's close. It's close, but that should be doing it. Yeah. Hey, professional sports. Professional sports. I always like that boost. It gives me the impression that actually your population just really, really like you taking things over. Like, it's got nothing to do with uh, actual sort of war in any way. It's just like, oh, yes, you, you, you did that war so beautifully well. Hopefully I can rush through this one as well. Kaplonk, kaplonk, and kaplonk. Bam. Perfect. Okay, what about the loyalty here? 1.8, 2.4, 7.4. Okay, right, we've stabilized this area. That is... That is good. God, that was looking pretty ropey. You Statue of Liberty. It's always worth building this purely to stop other people from building it. I, I truly, truly believe that. This is the sort of wonder the AI can sneak and suddenly they've got four diplomacy points and you think, how the hell have they been voted into the world leader position? And then you realise, ah... Yes, it's because they have that no one statue. Sanitation, mobilisation, flight, all done in one turn. Don't say I don't do things. Oh, Kamasi! Yes, I shall vote on that. Perfect stuff. That sounds definitely like a problem. We don't like warmongers, do we? Cough. I just realised building the Angkor Wat here would be so funny. That would be such a huge population boost because I've got so many cities. Oh. You know, I think we might actually get away with this, which is the ridiculous thing. Oh my goodness, yes. Rebellion in seven turns. Is that really? That's not bad at all. There we go. I, I went for the highest population Cree city there was in the hope that would work. And it did work. That's awesome. Okay, right. So now we can just build this city up quickly with an ancient walls. Let's get uh, an armory, medieval walls, renaissance walls, <laughs> military academy. This place is pretty tough. It's a tough nut to crack now. And we can actually start to think about building some army up in here as well. Yeah, military emergency. Woohoo! I mean, admittedly, if I do this, I may end up accidentally making peace with people. But that just gives me more opportunity to go to territorial wars. So I don't mind that sort of aggro. Yep, yep, look at that. So I'm now at peace with Georgia. Okay, as, as suspected, it's kind of pushed things around in a strange way. Who else is at war with them? So Georgia, Poland and Scotland. Okay, cool. So basically we've got to kill Spain, which should be pretty easy to do. So that essentially means that Georgia's cities are safe. Safe for, for now, for now. But unfortunately Poland, I mean Poland may not be because I can just declare a territorial war on them, which resets the clock. Oh, is that catapults you have in your land, Poland? I feel like you may need a little bit more than catapults. My new world army is just going to have the opportunity as well just to quickly become inventory um, and pike and shots and all kinds of tasty things. Yeah, these things. Oh, yeah. Okay, that 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 minces makes mince meat of all the Cree cities. This should be a pretty quick conquer. Terracotta army. I have a lot of troops, army, about 3,800 military strength eight, worth of troops at the moment. The so this is going to be a lot of promotions to handle, but I was saving this one for kind of when I was in the middle of a bunch of wars at the same time, because it gives me a fantastic opportunity just to heal everybody in one go. Radio, so that's really, really good. Radio, mass space. media, both boosted for me now. I need to just have a quick peek in here and see if there's anything else I can change to, because town charters, of course, I'm getting that commercial hub adjacency bonus, not because of the gold, but because it's giving me 56 more culture per turn as part of my... Um, whatever they call them. Gilded vaults, that's it, gilded vaults. Ugh. 
that took a while to figure out. Okay, Force Modernization, Craftsman, Republican Legacy, all of these are pretty good policies to be fair. Triangular Trade is probably the weakest of all of them. Just trying to think if there's anything better. I mean, that Raj ability is just fantastic. Uh, I get Natural Philosophy, that might be a, not a pretty good thing. Trade Confederation, extra 19 Science and 19 Culture. I could get Liberalism to give me 21 more immunities. Now that is something that actually does stack nicely. Um, yeah, that's giving me another 20 science and culture. So actually that was worth it in a sort of roundabout way. Ideology will help though. That will help a lot. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, The Broccoli, Midnight Oil and Truffa Daskby for all of your support on Patreon. Thank you everybody for all of your support generally. It is brilliant. See you in my next video.